sales guy at LPA Retail Systems. In this video, we look at the powerful production reporting that will streamline your day-to-day -day processing operations. In this next short video, we're going to take a look at the power of reporting. Reporting is an essential management tool that will increase efficiencies, streamline business operations, and will help you make key business decisions. The report that I want to look at first is the processing report. With the processing report, we have the ability to filter or to target specific information that we're interested in. We're going to take a look at what we have to process for deer. There are two keys to this report. The first page, this gives us information by the specific order and by customer. We have date information. We also have access to the type of sausage that they've ordered, as well as the pounds that they have ordered. So for instance, for Brady's order, you can see that he has ordered 10 pounds of jalapeno summer sausage and 10 pounds of polo sausage. With this processing report, there are two key areas we can look at. The first is to look at each individual order and what each individual customer has ordered. If we take, for instance, order number 704455 with our customer, Brady Martinson, we can look at the specific types of sausages that he has ordered and the quantity in pounds associated with each sausage. This information is great, but we took it to the next level. The last page of this report is called the grand total report. And this is key for butchers who are actually making this sausage. This gives us the total quantities of all of our orders of the sausages we need to process. For instance, 62 pounds of summer sausage, 30 pounds of jalapeno summer sausage, 10 pounds of Polish. The majority of our processors will run this report every single day. We can bring up our processing report by game. We can look via customer ranges. We can look via ticket dates. We can also take a look by tag number. After we've completed our processing report, as we have produced our sausages, we then come to the update orders report. On the update orders report, we can take a look at the type of sausage, the quantity of, of that sausage, to whom the customer was, and this is where we actually inform that we have indeed processed a particular type of sausage on a particular order. A great feature that I want to show you is, is that we can actually look up by specific sausage. For instance, if we want to take a look at the orders and the pounds of jalapeno summer sausage, we can use our keyword string search and locate our venison jalapeno summer sausages. You can see what we have done is by filtering, we have just got to the jalapeno cheddar summer sausages. In referencing the processing report, and our update orders report, I want to show you that if we look at orders numbers 704469 and 704470, on these two orders you can see that we have 10 pounds of jalapeno summer sausage on each. Once we've produced our jalapeno summer sausage and we come to our update orders, you can see that here are our two orders. Once we've processed these, we simply say, yes, it's been processed. It's going to stamp a process date in the process date field. Once we've updated our orders on the update orders report, as our jalapeno summer sausages have been processed, and we run our processing report, What you see on both of these orders is that 
We have processed the 10 pounds of jalapeno summer sausage. Also on this report, you can see the remaining items we need to process in order to complete each of these orders. When viewing the order report, we can access information by game. On this report, we're looking at all the activity that's going on with our deer orders. We do have the ability to filter this by a completed order or by an open order. On the orders report, we take a look at detailed information by specific order. On this order, we can take a look at the individual quantities and product that was ordered, as well as did we take a down payment? In this example, we took a down payment of $60. You can see the order amount due and the order total. The last page of the order report gives us a summary of all of our orders. You can see on this report we have seven open orders, an order subtotal of $1,418.63. We can see that we've received $239 up front, and we have an order amount due, or a balance, of $1,179. Excellent information to know on what's going on and the status of our open orders. The next report I want to show you is the Game Warden Report. We're going to pull a report on deer. In this report, we have information that we can provide to a Game Warden regarding the number of heads, license information on the customer, and then the other individuals that were responsible for the total number of heads on each order. The next report I want to show you is our call log report. Once we've run our reports on our completed order, you have the ability to track communication between individuals in your company and your customers. You have the ability to look at things like the number of calls, last call date, and the call notes. This information can be edited here and then it will show up on all of your reports that you run. These are some of the reports our customers utilize to help increase efficiencies, streamline business operations, and help them make key business decisions. Until next time, I'm Jimmy Haugen, the sales guy at LPA Retail.